We are back, everybody. My next guest is a talented actress who's appeared in numerous films, including The Pink Panther. Now you can see her in Lars and the Real Girl. Please welcome Emily Mortimer. Thanks for being here again. Nice it's to see a, you on the show. It's a treat to be here again. Yeah, Thank well, you for having me. I hope you feel that way. Uh, you've just... <laughs> I never know. There's no sincerity here. Uh, you just... Uh, this is exciting. You just finished uh, wrapping, is that right, the Pink Panther 2. You made... Yes. You worked on the, on the sequel. Yes. Uh, was it fun to do that? Did you enjoy doing that? It was it was fun, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, there were a lot of there were lots of movie stars in the movie. Yeah. It, there, it, it was populated by movie stars. There Steve was, Martin. Steve in the Martin, movie, obviously, of and Andy Garcia mm -hmm. and Jeremy Irons and all sorts of people. And and as a result, there were all these paparazzi hanging about in Paris. We were shooting a lot of it in Paris. Right. And, and you're uh, not you're not used to that the paparazzi going going no, no, crazy. No, no, no. I've never been papped, as we call it. We call it being papped. Is that England. the UK term, being <laughs> papped? <laughs> yes. That's a weird uh, term. Okay, so. So I was papped. You were papped. I, I was papped for the first time in in Paris, and it was it was this. <laughs> does that sound disgusting? It sort of does. It sort of <laughs> sounds like you had a procedure and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, did, they, did they pap you from behind? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They followed you and they papped you. Uh, yes. No. I was. It was. It was. It was one particular sort of rainy day, and they were they were hanging about the set looking for film stars. And then this particular day, they all the film stars had gone home. Right. And there was me, and I emerged from my trailer in my curlers to go to the set to mm -hmm. rehearse. Sure. And it was raining, and there was a very sweet girl who was holding an umbrella over me to protect me from the rain. And this photographer started following us down the street and taking photos. And I was thinking, wow, this is. Amazing! I'm, I'm being papped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> this has never happened before, and it's real, uh -huh. rather exciting. And then, and then to protect my privacy, the girl tipped the umbrella, you know, over my face. I think because of the curlers, which I'd forgotten about. Right, so but she was trying to do the nice thing and yes. protect you from this guy. At yeah. which point we heard this voice at the top of this guy. This photographer shouts at the top of his lungs, "Oh yeah, like she's really f famous." <laughs> oh whoa! 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 V, I apologize. That's not the kind of not the kind of show we run here. I'm sorry, V. I'm yeah. so sorry. I know I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> well still, uh, profanity aside, it must be, yeah, you you that can't was kind of mean. I thought it was mean. It's to, mean, it's right. You didn't think you were a big star. You were right. just trying to protect it's yourself. It's mean to take your photograph and then accuse you of not being famous enough to have your photograph. Yes, taken. yes. They built a, a weird trap for you. It was confusing to now, me. And then really up. But yeah, wait, yeah. wait. So then I get on the airplane, I recover from this instant, and then I get on the airplane to come home and I I'm terrified of flying, and the only way I can calm myself down weirdly is to buy huge piles of those crappy magazines with lots of pictures of famous people in them. So oh. I'm. I, no, because you know, you just read those, and it sort of reminds you. For some you that... reason, it's distracting, wondering or not whether Jessica Simpson's had plastic surgery or something. Just as, as, it, it distracts me. I don't know why. <laughs> Well, I guess not, is the answer. This is very interesting. I don't... She definitely... Did you just pull that name out at random? And... Yes. Are you Jessica Simpson's boyfriend? No. Oh! <laughs> I'm, have I put my foot in it? This is crazily <laughs> weird. Uh, I'm just going to watch this. Go. Why don't you two talk? And I don't know. Oh, uh, no, it's... Uh... It was a long time ago. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> anyway, I'm Good sure times. she hasn't. I'm sure she hasn't. And yes. she's lovely. But anyway, so I get... <laughs> I get, I get, um, it distracts me from whether or not I'm gonna plummet to my death. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at these magazines. Oh, right. Anyway, and so I open one of them, and there I am, and I've never been in one of these things before, and it's me in this blue dress on the red carpet. Right. And I think, again, I get this sort of weird feeling of, wow, here I am, maybe I've arrived or something. I'm, sure, you're in this magazine. I'm in this magazine, and then, and then I look for who the other ladies are in the pictures next to me, and it's this weird collection of freakish people who I've never sort of seen, heard of, <laughs> in odd, very odd outfits. And then I look at the top of the page, and it says in huge les letters, fashion disaster. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look at my picture again, and there's a caption underneath it. So I'm in this blue dress, which I thought was lovely. And underneath it says, 
Why did Emily Mortimer choose to leave her house dressed as a Smurf? Oh! <laughs> this is terrible! You can't read those things. I, I yeah. don't, you know. <laughs> I'm not in them. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm, I'm told we have something uh, in, in common. I, I just got back about a week ago from Dublin, Ireland, oh, and yes. I had a great time there. Yes. And uh, I got to meet some of the uh, great Irish comedians over there, and it was wonderful. And I'm told that you've spent some time there in Ireland? I spent, yes, I did a movie in Ireland, and um, yeah, I love being there. Well, this in is Ireland. what I, I'm asking because I, don't, I just want to know if you had the same experience that I had. When I was over there, everybody's kind of quick and funny, no matter yes. where you go. Yes. You know, it, 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 just everybody. You know, <laughs> you talk to anybody in any profession, quick, funny. Did you have They've that got same experience? The gift of the gab, is yeah, what it's the, called. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I had a, I had an Irish, uh, Dublin taxi driver say the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me before. He hasn't, it hasn't been matched. But I, I was, um, I was, I, I arrived in Dublin to get to an audition. In fact, and I was really late. My plane had been delayed, and I got into this cab, and I said, you know, I'm an actress. I've got to get to this audition, and please, can you go as fast as you possibly can? And, he got really into it, you know, and, and, and he went really fast and he kept going the wrong way down one-way streets and things. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I knew I liked him when the, uh, the, he was going the wrong way down a one-way street and someone beat their horn and said, this is a one-way street. And he leaned out his window and said, I'm only going the one way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then... then um... And then killed nine people, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then he said, so, you know, what, if I, what would I have seen you in? What have you been in? And this was ten years ago. I was just starting out, and I said, God, not, not really anything. Kind of slightly lame television things, and I don't know what... Oh, and then I said, oh, actually, I've been in a film. You might have seen I was in a film with Michael Douglas about lions in Africa. And I got eaten by a lion. <laughs> and, uh, and he thought for a few seconds, and he said, some lions get all the look. <laughs> 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 I thought it was romantic, but then I've been told it was disgusting. You thought that was romantic? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the romance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, I, I you, you haven't been on in a little while. You have to come back more often. No, I, I'm never coming. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible about Why? the Jessica Simpson thing. I feel oh, like no, I said no, 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 it's fine. No, no. Tell her it's all fine. No, it's what all is good. the Jessica Simpson? You've got to tell me what the Jessica Simpson is. I'll tell you after. It's okay, all good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll listen and tell you tomorrow. <laughs> Pete will be here, too. Check it out. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> He's the most powerful man in television now. Shut up! <laughs> Suddenly it's late night with feet. <laughs> Lars and the Real Girl is now uh, playing in select cities, expands nationwide uh, through November, and seriously, always a delight. Thank you so much for it's being a here. Emily, <laughs> Slash. Slash is here. Stick around.